Hi guys, sorry you can only see my fat belly in the video today because I've got you set up so I can hopefully do a bit more of an instructional video. We'll see how this goes. Mm. So I'm going to do lots of hand movements and I'm going to be talking like this. Yes, okay. <laughs> um, so this is hopefully going to be a bit of an instructional video on how to make the uh, spec ring. The dimensions are as per IB Crazy's guide uh, for the FP VWRA spec ring class. Um, the uh, oh, I've stopped again. I followed the specifications um, up to the point of not using the same motor because I don't have the motor they use and while it's a cheap motor it's it's more money to spend when I've already got motors in my parts bin that will fly on this plane. <clears throat> if it was a case of all the guys at the field had the same wing then yeah maybe I'd get that motor and then we could all have a, a proper race when it's just down to the pilot and not how um, fast a motor you've got. Hopefully I'll get the other guys to sort of do something like this soon. Um, I'll see if they, uh, they're interested in uh, me cutting some cores for them and then they can do the rest, but we'll see. So here's the finished article. <laughs> Where are we going? So it's overall 900mm wing span. The um, sweep is 12 inches. So here's a, one of the cores. Let's see, does that look better? So you've got a 9 inch root cord and a 6 inch tip cord. And then, the, and as I said, the sweep is 12 inches. Um, if I cut any more out, I may do a guide on the actual cutting of these but I I don't need any more at the moment and I cut these out before I did the video which wasn't the cleverest um, idea but hey hindsight's twenty twenty, as they say so the first thing to do is to glue these together I'm going to try using some copy decks this time. Um, the Swordhead sailplanes use something very similar. Uh, Nicholas, I can't remember your last name, <laughs> so I'm not going to say it, uh, said that copy decks is pretty much the same thing, so uh, I'm going to see how that works. It's a similar, you use it as a contact adhesive, so I'm going to put glue on both, 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 both wings, leave it to go off and then put them together. Right. So, uh, shall we zoom in? Let's try zooming uh, out. No, zooming in down there. <laughs> okay. Bear with me on these videos guys, I'm still learning and not so much of a natural as say some others are so and also, looking at the screen, it's opposite to which way I need to go, so that's fun. So I'm just going to apply a thin layer of this. Makes a change having a brush to do it. Before I've been using propellers that Matt gave me. I think he bought about 900 of them for some silly price and was given them away. Oh, that's a nice, nice layer on there. I'm just leaving, hanging it over the edge of the uh, 
desk so I don't actually get glue all over my desk. I think I need like a, a separate screen so I can actually like look at the monitor a bit easier. Talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I'm not a natural chatterbox, so uh, I tend to kind of do this and then shut up. The glue there. There you go. Have a nice little brush on the end. So. Right, so that's those glued, or glue applied. I'll uh, do a little jump cut um, to the next bit when we put them together. Right, the glue's gone off, and believe me, if you do use copy decks, it does take a while to go off properly. Um, it's been over an hour, I think, between applying the glue and setting. I don't know, it's probably not going to really come out on camera. But it's pretty much gone off. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to start at the back, so have those two, the, the back ends flat to the table, so, and then bring them together, and then slowly work it forward, or you know, just you know, put it forward. What I will do, I said anything but that is, my nose, I'm not sure if my nose is actually square. Yeah, it looks, what I might actually try and do is bring the nose in first, so at least then if my, uh, if they're not exactly nine inches each, at least the front will be square, aligned and the back won't be. I'm going to take cut off a piece uh, next. So what I'm, so what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll keep the back end square to the table, flat, and I'll bring the nose, am I getting my head in the shot? Let's zoom in a bit, shall we? Some optical illusion to go the wrong way. All right. So back ends flat. Bringing the nose together so they line up. And then just closing them together. And then, um, oh, let's zoom out a bit, shall we? So, it's not perfectly aligned, unfortunately, but it's close enough. Give it a push. So I'm just holding these sides and then pushing to the middle. You can see, you can probably see, it's a slight little lip, but yeah. not enough to make any difference, I don't think. And I'll maybe sand that off a lip to get it looking flusher. Nice. So next phase will be to put the carbon fibre in. So we'll have another cut to that in a minute. 